Today, somebody from Italy has brought us a, such a sunshine day because he prepared the most difficult cello repertoire, which is the Bach cello solo suite. And he did it all in one day. I went to the 2.30 and 7.30, all at the same day on June 2nd, 2013. And let's welcome Maestro Luigi. Uh, Pleased Mr. to meet Piovani. you. <laughs> Very nice to have you with us. Thank you for coming. It is your first trip to Taiwan. Yeah, this is my debut in, in Taipei, and I enjoy a lot the, the city, the food, and the, the hall is just amazing sound. How do you like the acoustic? When you it's very, it? very beautiful, very warm, and, and with audience does not change, so it was really, I, I felt very well on stage. It's, the, it's such a warm sound from stage, the first thing I noticed, and... Um, for the first half, uh, for the first seven, uh, two thirty show, I was sitting on the third row. Uh -huh. So I, I haven't met you yet. I want to get a good look of your face and your cello. And tonight, I followed the seats and the tickets. I was sitting on the eleventh row, but just uh, after tenth row, the sun got even much bigger. Yeah. And uh, your student's mother was sitting on the twenty some row. Yeah. She says beautiful, beautiful tone. Yeah. This come from when you, you, you could play a great uh, instrument. Uh, sounds very well near to you, but sounds much better far. Far away. Far away. And this is the problem because you, you already feel that this is good, but you have to trust the, 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 the instrument, the trust uh, what is going to, 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 to give to the audience. Yes, my friends said our, the best is on the second uh -huh. The balcony is uh -huh. facing your front, yeah. and that's where the VIP, when the president comes, yeah. <laughs> important people has a special balcony, second floor. Nice. And um, we hear uh, Mr. Luigi perform the whole set in one day. Tell us, how do you feel today? Well, uh, this is first time I did in one, uh, in, uh, in one day. When they asked me to do, I, I was... Uh, yes, yes, I was a little bit afraid to do in one day because, you know, how, not just difficult, but the heavy for, for, for body, for, for, for arms uh, are to play uh, all sweet. And I play uh, the, the number six with another cello, with the six, uh, with the five strings. Oh, yeah, tell us about the five yeah. string cello. Yeah, well, I, I, I found this uh, cello in, a, in, a, in Italy, in Rome. Mm. And uh, I just bought it because um, I play a lot of time the, the, the number six with the four uh, strings. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, I think uh, it's not right to play, like the arpeggione, it's not right to play this kind of uh, piece with the instrument that was not writing for. Uh, that's why I bought this instrument to play the back number six and the arpeggione that is much more near to the original because the arpeggione has six strings of course mm -hmm. but the the lower one is not that important how is the the e strings the the, the higher one so i bought the, the cello this cello to play let's say two piece but was very important for me very very important and i uh, i realized how uh, difficult could be to change, of course, the bow with the five and to go back to four strings. This is really something. And I change in the concert. So uh, uh, you have to be very concentrated. And, and yesterday they gave me this marvelous Stradivari that uh, uh, I have not really uh, very much time to adjust this. To, yeah, but it's very easy to play. And I, I was in, in, uh, in very connection very 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 soon and he responds just great during the concert today and i'm very happy to have this occasion and thanks to chime foundation to give me the the cello and this incredible bow this is a, a pierre simon uh, is bow uh, 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 played by popper popper could you mage yes. Could Can I make? imagine Popper? Yeah, he was playing this bow. So for me, it was incredible occasion to play both. Hey, in, it's incredible how match together. I play. I, I tried yesterday in a, this great foundation, many mm, great bow, but this match uh, fantastic. Did and you the, fly to and, and this is also is is. Uh, 
uh, Tartar is incredible. Uh, anyway, it's beautiful. And thanks to have this occasion to, to play this great Italian cello. Well, <laughs> two French Italian songs yeah. combined together. Yeah. Oh, we were speaking the same so language today. <laughs> the audience are so happy. Yeah. <laughs> and do you have a favorite composer? <laughs> well, it, it, it's difficult to have one favorite composer because. Please. Uh, but uh, if if you have to to choose one, maybe maybe I will I will say Shostakovich. Maybe oh. I will say Shostakovich why, for why many say? reasons. Be mm -hmm. um, well, my father is a composer, is a pianist and conductor, and uh, since the, I was uh, uh, very young, younger than uh, your your beautiful daughter, <laughs> uh, uh, I I breathed music in, at home, and uh, because he's, he's a composer, he uh, gives me a score by Shostakovich. And also Mozart for some other reason for the construction for the forma sonata for the sonat form. But he gives me this Shostakovich, and he was right to. Uh, I, I agree with my father to think that the most uh, great uh, genius of the last century was Dmitri Shostakovich for me for sure. Not because Stravinsky, not because other mm -hmm. a, a great uh, Debussy, Ravel, of course, but the genius was, and I don't know why, but every note uh, Shostakovich wrote touched my, my heart. Every time. And that's why. Um, but from the very beginning, I have to say that uh, not because just because I'm Italian, but how you cannot uh, speak about Monteverdi? It was the beginning of maybe the Monteverdi, the, the, yeah, oh, Monteverdi oh, wow. sounds like, and the poet fro, fro, he wrote. Poetic, I mean, yeah. a poet, yeah. And, and then I would like to to say Mozart for the same reason of Shostakovich because it was a genius, and yes. also because I'm conducting, I'm doing a lot of uh, Mozart. N next week I will do uh, the last two symphonies. For example, a piano, uh, piano concert, concert yeah. and violin concert to in, in two concerts, of course. Wow. Uh, and and I, I, I have to put Brahms because he's a, 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 a mix of uh, uh, construction and heart. And uh, because I, I just finished the uh, Beethoven uh, uh, cello sonata cycle, oh. I have to say, when you are young, you did not realize how big are these composers. And I conduct uh, 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 five, seven, and nine Symphony. symphonies. Uh -huh. And then you realize, realize how big is Beethoven. So let me, I put already five. It's mm -hmm. too much? No. no, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Like. And Bach, yeah. of course, because he's the composer that wrote the uh, the story uh, of for, for, for the cello. This sixth suite is a, a piece of story, not just for the cello, but a, a piece of story of the music, and how he, he, he built from the first one to the, the last one is just a miracle. But there's no uh, dynamics. Uh, yeah. How do you decide a tempo? Is it difficult for you to come up with the right tempo? Uh, yeah, well, uh, uh, the, the tempo is the less difficult stuff for me mm -hmm. because um, I think about uh, the suite is a combination of dance. So uh, Bach was the, uh, he had the preludium uh, to each uh, suite, but then is uh, Alemand, uh, is Corant, is Saraband, and Minuetto, or, or, or Gavot, and Gig. So are, uh, of, uh, are all of them are dance. So always I think the uh, uh, right tempo to dance this this uh, music. So this is the the less difficult uh, stuff, and the articulation also is very important as to to speak the language because it's very precise yeah, what you, you want. Is that artic articulation? Ah, well, this comes from a lot of uh, work because I uh, study <laughs> with uh, uh, Radual Dulescu. Uh, that means the school from uh, Casals and Casado. So when I I, when I, I practice with the, uh, uh, this uh, really <laughs> the, the god of, of the cellos, Casals, I play like Casals, like mm. a, a, a Russian school and like a, a romantic uh, uh, school. Then I had chance to uh, study ten years the baroque cello with gut string with the baroque cello, oh, and baroque this cello. was a 
uh, change my mind. It is difficult to very, the I mean, to... it's very difficult. To, it, it's another world. It's a, it's a completely <laughs> another world. You, I mean, it, it's not right that you cannot use the vibrato. The vibrato you can use like an expression. But the whole expression became from the bow. So what you have to learn is the expression of the sostenuto, mm -hmm. uh, of the 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 mesta um, di uh, voce, the 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 voice uh, speaking, and this for me was so important to to learn. Then I go back with the, the original score. Oh. That uh, unlucky we have not Bach, we have Magdalena Bach and two pupils. Now a lot of story uh, be, uh, come out. Uh, and one story, the last one I, I read <laughs> in, in London um, two months ago. I, I was mm -hmm. playing a concert with Dmitry Sikorevsky, uh, Goldberg Variation in Kim uh, Pal He says. Uh, is a, 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 some ideas to uh, uh, the, the, the Bach cello suite was writing by Magdalena, not by Sebastian. Really? Uh, yeah, I, I don't think so because I mean you can re realize the, the, the Sebastian Bach in the music. In any case, the uh, original uh, that we have is from Magdalena Bach. So the wife. Copy, the maybe. Second wife made that yeah, the second, second wife mm, copy the, the 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 suite, and so I I bring this uh, this original and I try to put the articulation. Uh, not always are clear, so you have to to go in the music to find your way. This is my way. Maybe it's not, uh, of course, the the way that somebody somebody doesn't like, of course. This is Bach, no? And it's much easier for, for violins because for violin we have the, the, the original uh, one from yeah. Sebastian Bach. So it's much easy it, to find. With yeah, with all all articulation. Yeah, all articulation. Slur, dots, Everything. Staccato. Yeah. And what about dynamic? Not dynamic, but mm -hmm. it, I, it, I mean, in this time, some dynamics they put just for and piano because mm -hmm. it was an expression. Mm -hmm. And uh, does not mean the uh, uh, minor tonality or major tonality was just a, a mood, was an expression, was I, just. I did not know violin has the articulation on all the music. Yeah, yeah. So that's less argument, and yeah. you could. Yeah, yeah, of course. Your, do you, so you you definitely play the Shostakovich cello concerto very yeah. well. Number one, number two. <laughs> no, just the number one I played. I practiced the number two, but I did not find the, the occasion to play the bum, number bum, two. Bum, bum, yeah, this is number one. Mm -hmm. it's With a the beautiful great. second movement. You can feel the snow coming down. Yeah, but the symphony, what he, he wrote. The first one with a big solo in the end, and the 15 with a big cello solo in the middle. I mean, the number five. Tira, tira. He loves cello because in any time I don't why know, but in any, I, 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 why? Play cello well, well he, he has a, a he's good. He's inspired by he, Mr. Of Rocha course, Kovic. he has a good he friend named Slava. You know? Could you imagine? So it's Prokofiev too. Yeah, but could you imagine to have a friend named Mitzlav Rostropovich? I mean, <laughs> you, have to be, you have to be very inspired about that. And the sonata, the, the, the Opus 40, is just a piece of the just a dime. Sonata. Yeah, I, 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 this you is enjoy the, it very much, the huh? dime, D minor is so beautiful. This is maybe, maybe my favorite sonata for cello and piano. Yeah, and also Brahms. The Bodo and Beto, how can you say which is your preferred? <laughs> but this Shostakovich goes deep every time, goes deep and deep and deep. Because in the life, he, he has a lot of sad time, maybe yeah, this was, Shostakovich. yeah, of course. At um, 2005, um, I work with the National Symphony Orchestra uh -huh. in Taiwan. Our music director decided that's the year Shostakovich. We did all his symphonies. Oh, great. And then my baby girl was born right after that. Oh, nice. <laughs> he listened to it in a time. Great. <laughs> but um, if um, among all these, all the great cello works, the one favorite. <laughs> One works. Work? Oh, this is different. Uh, oh, can I begin with Brahms? Do you like E minor or F major? Better? Well, I play often the, the first one, the E minor, but I, I could e say the oh. second one is incredible, beautiful. Not just the first one, the, the second movement. The second movement, <sighs> bum, bum, It's bum, just... Bum. I recording many years ago. Oh. I have a recording. I was inspired. Is this on YouTube? Can we... 
I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I will send you. Okay. okay. <laughs> With a big pleasure. And I have to say, one piece that we, we cannot uh, forget is the, the Vorgic cello concert and Dvorak. Schumann cello concert. I mean. Oh, but Schumann's music is the most difficult because his yeah. line is I will play so in October in, in Japan with the new Japan Philharmonic with okay. Tatsuya yeah. Shimono. And this concert always is something. The, the Schumann mm -hmm. cello concert. The Vorjak also is I played two years Dvorak ago. Dvorak is classic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It has to... You must have a Dvorak recording. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope. Oh my God, how many recordings have you made? Well, um, you quite a lot, quite a lot. Uh, I, I, at least I, over 50 uh, Maybe. Yeah, yeah, I start with the, with the piano quartet. I had a piano quartet, a Michelangelo piano quartet. Great people, great musicians. Many years ago already, tw more than 20 years ago. We and did how the, old were you when you first... First 20, 20 years, years uh, 20 years old. I was with the uh, Mahler uh, quartet sets and uh, Strauss the uh, C minor, so beautiful. And now I record once more the the quartet sets with the, my old friends with Grazia. Grazia Raimondi is a great uh, violinist and mm -hmm. a friend viola uh, Silvio Di Rocco, great uh, alto, a great mm -hmm. violas, and the pianist just uh, is, uh, uh, the the, the Busoni winner prize is, uh, is, is uh, Olaf Laneri, is a great uh, Italian pianist, mm -hmm. and I I put together for the Mahler year. The uh, Kinder Total Leader with wow. Sara Mingardo, with the, he's a, she's a god of the, the voice for, for, for alto, <laughs> and uh, the Eines Farenden Gesellen mm -hmm. together for the, and this recording uh, win a, a, a prize uh, last year with the uh, Elisabeth Schwarzkopf uh, competition. So I'm, I'm happy. Now, just released the, the Britain violin concert with, uh, with Livia Son. Uh, she played a trio together. And Schubert, the, the Opus 100, and the Bach that you have. And, and I did all music based on sounds because my label is, is French label. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and I, I want to to thank them to give me the opportunity. Oh, you, I read your biography, you studied, besides Switzerland, you also went to study in France. Yeah, because... Paris Conservatory. Yeah, I follow my teacher. I follow my teacher that was Radu Aldulescu. Okay. Yeah, for me, the most good teacher that I could have in my life. No, I was 16 years old when I met him, so it was oh, uh -huh. a, a, a second father for me. And he was so... A great, not just like a, a musician, but like a person. Uh, it teaches me uh, a lot of stuff uh, and teaches me how to have a relationship with the with the with the with the people. Why uh, uh, the people come to the concert? They, I mean, we have to serve the music. So this is the <laughs> idea is to serve the music. A priest serve God. So every everybody has. Uh, uh, you have children, so maybe mm -hmm. your 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 future are, are, are the, the children. But everybody has to uh, cross a, 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 the line, and my line is the music, of course. And I have a stepdaughter, Ariana, that I love like my my Just my like daughter. Yeah, uh -huh. how and old is she? Twelve. Okay. Twelve. Uh -huh. Twelve next July. Okay. Very soon. Does she play? She starts to do violin because uh, Grazia is she's a violin. Uh, the, the father is a very good violin too. Mm -hmm. Violin too. And then he, she uh, uh, switched with the cello. She uh, with was the cello. very good with the cello. But a lot of stuff now. He, he, she's crazy with the <laughs> roller blade now. With she's she's so uh, very and sporty. Very sport. But she's very sporty. She she <laughs> everything she does with a, a, a sport. She does hundred percent. So why not trust the, the? We we are much near than the people think about the sportsmen and, and, and musicians because we use arms, we use concentration. Mm -hmm. We have to study every day like a, a sportman. Could and you imagine some every day. practice every day like a sport? I mean, oh, it's well, a sport. how do you get to perform in Carnegie Hall? Yeah, I practice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I conduct in Carnegie Hall. With the, my my girlfriend, she was playing the Mendelssohn violin concert, the oh, D minor, uh -huh. the small one, and I brings uh, this was a great uh, chance for mu for young musicians because they asked me to play a concert in Carnegie Hall, and I already played with the, with Polini there, so I oh, want Polini to bring. Polini is my idol from the child. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. my father, of course. I I, bore, I, I, I grew up with the, with, with the Chopin etude by Polini, of expert. course, <laughs> of course. So I bring these these students from. 
all over the world. Mm -hmm. uh, Thailand and Poland, uh, Italian and uh, Romanian and Albania. Uh, I put together with uh, this project. Uh, we went to uh, nobody from them was in uh, New York and oh. of course in the Carnegie. So it was first time for most of them in America. So I bring them to brief the atmosphere of New York. This is mm -hmm. more, the most beautiful. What is this? Do you remember? Last year, just May, just one, one exactly one year, one year ago, the twenty fifth, I think, May. Twenty fifth, yeah, so not, close. just so close, one year ago. And because uh, 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 Nicola Bulgari uh, is a, a close friend of mine, and uh, is uh, my my mecenat, uh, he, he brings me uh, in this uh, uh, great temple of the music, and we we done a very beautiful concert. My um, Julia college memory is uh, joined Alexander Schneider's uh, <laughs> string orchestra and he loved Bach Brindenburg Concerto. Yeah. So I was very lucky to be chosen to perform in his uh, semin a New York string seminar twice. Oh, great. And each year is a two concert in Carnegie Hall, but midnight, mm. midnight concert for Christmas. <laughs> nice. We will like to present Taiwan audience to say thank you so much for a beautiful day. Thank and you to you and I have two music. thanks uh, Le Pont des Arts, the, the manager that he brings me here. Uh, I Colleen. think the audience wanted to hear I have, you again. Thank you, the you future. and the audience uh, who brings me, Colin brings me here and I really enjoy the, the city and the, the, the audience and the, the hall and really I would like to come back as soon as possible because I, I, very, I feel very well. And when you feel very well after this uh, massive program... You must continue. Mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Well, thank you so much. Thank you very and much. Thank you very you. much. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching Parents Now, and we'll be back with more.